All right, what's going on guys? It's your boy Cody bringing you an update on the 20 gallon saltwater tank. Um, so first off, let's get into this problem with the uh, the kinna tree. Actually, he must have fell down. I will fix him in a little bit. He's somewhere along this rock. But um, yeah, he's obviously got some like slime or mucus. I was looking it up or shedding his skin as they say. And he's kind of uh, curled up. So that's why <clears throat> you're not seeing him. But when he does come back, I'll definitely be sure to make an update on him. The frog spawn. Um, he is over here by the filter, open it up, and he just looks absolutely beautiful. Another thing I did was cut the frag plugs off all my corals. Um, it just makes it look way more natural. I like it a lot better. And my newest coral is the one-headed Duncan coral, and I love this guy so much. Especially at night, he just looks absolutely stunning um, in, the, in the blue lights. So other than that, that's, that's basically it, but I'm loving the way the tank's coming along. I'm probably just going to actually, I want to say just like let it let it all grow out and just see how it does. Other clownfish, I see him back there. He's hiding behind the rocks, but I'm not going to add any more fish to this tank. I'm just going to actually just um, add corals maybe eventually, but this tank is going to have to be moved from Florida to Tennessee. So if you guys have any suggestions on how to do that, I mean, when that time gets closer, I will definitely be looking up a lot of videos on how to do that. I don't want to leave this tank here. Uh, my parents don't really know how to take care of this thing. It's all me. So, um, I, and I definitely want to take it. I spent a lot of money on this tank. Um, I was actually in the Air Force. And when I was discharged, I took my money that I got from the Air Force and I used it to buy this saltwater tank because that's what I'm passionate about. I absolutely love saltwater tanks and I really really wanted to get into reefing I've wanted to get into reefing for a super long time but I also wanted to say just thank you for all the support on my just my all my aquarium videos it means a lot to me um having a lot of other reefers you know like my videos and comment and it's it means a lot it really does um you know give me tips and I definitely want to check out some other um reefing channels and get some tips from them because you can never have too much knowledge in this hobby uh, every little bit helps so definitely but I will definitely be bringing you guys an update when this uh, when this uh, Duncan coral, or not this Duncan coral, but this Kenya tree um, comes back. And I will actually find him. I guess he fell behind the rock, which is crazy because I had him uh, I had him super glued on there with the coral glue. So I actually don't know what happened, but I will find him and I will place him back. Um, but he's definitely not dead. I was looking into, you know, other reefers and they were saying, you know, posting pictures of their Kenya trees and they shed it, say it's shedding its skin and it can last anywhere from some per somebody said like five to six days and another person said theirs didn't open up for two weeks. So he doesn't look dead. When I touched him earlier to super glue onto the rock, he went down a lot and then he, he opened back up a bit, but he's on his side, mainly closed up, but he has opened up a little bit. He's not fully closed, um, but these corals, I absolutely love them. Um, this frog spawn is gorgeous. I'm hoping when he gets a little bigger, these clownfish will host them. Well, uh, I don't know though. And this Duncan coral, he's going to be absolutely beautiful. I picked him up for a super good price. Um, they were charging by the head, so I just got a little one-headed one. But I love him so much. I love the way he moves. He has a lot of movement to the to the to the uh, tank. And so, I got my feather duster. Um, he's he's doing a lot better than he was ever since I moved him because of the frog spawn, not wanting him to get stung. He's done a whole lot better. But hope you guys did enjoy. I'll definitely bring you an update um, when the kinda tree comes back because I'm probably not adding more corals to this tank for a while. I might. I actually start a job soon. I might. Um, most of my money is going to be towards trying to move back to Tennessee and saving up. But I will definitely, maybe if I see a nice cheap coral that I like, go ahead and grab one. But that's it for this video, guys. Thank you for all the recent support. Make sure to hit that red subscribe button. Peace.